So that's it. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm going home. Finally. 64 days of shoot in the Alps. Half of it inside and the other half outside. Battling with steep terrain, snow, freezing temperatures, and COVID. I'm exhausted. So my wife and I don't wait. We're on the plane the next day for more cold. It was a Christmas gift from 2018. Or days in Lapland in this amazing hotel. With all that's happened and multiple lockdowns, we kept pushing it. But here we are, just the two of us, with no kids, for an unbelievably relaxing time. And back to Paris, back to work, post-production, which to production is such a slow process. And at the same time, I have to start working on the next projects. Ideas that need development, scripts that I've delayed too much. And I'm still exhausted. And that's where it hits me. It usually starts a week after the shoot. First, I have a hard time getting out of bed in the morning. And before I know it, everything becomes a hassle. From buying groceries to brushing my teeth. Work keeps piling up and I get late on everything. Every time I sit in the edit room, I think what I did was crap and get mad at myself for losing almost a year of my life on this stupid project. And physically, I feel terrible. I spent four months with sleep deprivation, fueled on junk food and candy with no real exercise. I've put on so much weight. Most people around me think I was on paid holidays, working with famous people in the most beautiful places in the world. And that's probably the worst of all. I have no right to complain. Which is true. I totally agree with this statement. I'm extremely lucky for doing this job that I love and dreamt of since I was a kid. As Churchill said, never explain, never complain. Good old Winston. Easier said than done. So here I am, wandering around, finding myself staring out the window, napping on the couch, not answering the phone. Being scary could be my agent or producer telling me I'm past due date on some project. I'm falling asleep after two pages of a book or five minutes into a movie. I don't even feel like riding my bike anymore. And you guys know how much I like riding my bike. Or even take pictures. And you know how much I like photography. Go check my IG if you don't believe me. And usually that's where I get sick, three weeks after the shoot. This year I got COVID and spent 10 days at home with two of my kids who weren't in their best shape either. And therefore, it gets even worse. So in a nutshell, no more exercise, more junk food, more TV, more social media. Total laziness. There's even a moment where, because of the lack of new ideas, I don't want to be a filmmaker anymore. Long story short, I'm in a rut. Why? Because the shoot drains you. Emotionally, creatively, and physically. <laughs> Frankly, it amazes me that after all this time, I still get that post-shooting depression. No matter how hard I try, I can't avoid it. And maybe it's part of the filmmaking process. I guess the only way then is to accept it. Accept it as part of the creative cycle, but not for too long. The longer the rut, the harder it is to get back up. So how one gets out of this cyclical rut? First, take the guilt out of the equation. You've chosen the path of creation. It means you're not a nine to five person. You've chosen a life that has no regularity, which seems odd to most people who have the impression that you're on an endless holiday and will make you feel guilty about it. So no guilt, take that weight off your shoulders. Being creative is not a steady job. Creation is not a steady flow. You need to accept it and let your creative brain be drenched sometimes, for it needs to rest. Then start doing things, small ones, like uh, doing laundry or loading the dishwasher, cleaning your desk. As Mark Manson says, action brings motivation that creates inspiration. Being inspired as you motivated, which makes you act. Inspiration, motivation, action. It's a psychological loop. Therefore, you can start anywhere in that loop. All elements bring to the other. I know I'm not going to write the 100 pages script I was due yesterday, but usually just starting with a few words will have me write a page. And before I realize it, I have written 10 of them. 
Or maybe start by uh, exercising for one minute and the next day for five and so on. Don't try to overreact though. Don't do everything you should have been doing starting a specific day. If you do, you will permanently yo-yo in between action and rut periods, ending only with depression. Take it easy. Reward yourself for every little thing you have done. You've written a few lines? Reward yourself by watching a Matt Diavella video on YouTube, for example. Then gradually you do more and more. And progressively, you will start feeling well balanced again. But most of all, your creative self will start working again. In the end, just be patient with yourself without being sorry for yourself. Let me know what you think. So that's it for today. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to send a little algorithmic love by liking, subscribing, hitting the bell, etc. 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 And I will see you in the next video. Shoo!